And I'm absolutely uh, agog at, at the beauty of the, of, of the environment, the hills. Um, there's so much to see and do here. It really is a, a neat area. Well, these tours are cover a little bit of a number of things, partly the geology and geography of the area and also native history with some of the native sites we travel to plus the pioneer and outlaw history that uh, you know happened uh, all across the southern end of the province here but more particularly in this region just because of the rough terrain. These caves were originally coyote and wolf dens that the uh, outlaws commandeered and enlarged in some cases for their own use. One cave was to hide horses, they called it the barn cave or the horse cave, and they could put about a dozen horses in it. And the house cave was where the men themselves hid. All accounts, this is station one on the outlaw trail that stretches from here to Ciudad Juarez, Mexico, and was set up by Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. And modeled loosely on the Pony Express, they had a stop every 10, 15 miles or so where they could uh, get some fresh horses and, and possibly some supplies. They didn't stay there very long, maybe a day, two at the most. We don't know who constructed this site. There were a lot of different uh, groups in this area at one time or another. Age-wise, we're not really certain either. These sites have all been mapped but never excavated. This is a buffalo effigy, the only reported buffalo effigy in Canada. The buffalo was a very important part of the Plains natives' lives and they came up on top of this very prominent hill and built this large representation of a buffalo so that the uh, spirits would uh, be able to see it better. The spirit pole is used in ceremonies where the native people are asking the spirits for help for someone in their community that's ill or you know having some difficulties in their life, some kind of a problem. And the elders will get together and discuss the problem and go off and think about it. And one of them will uh, have a dream where everything pertains to one color. And the different colored cloths are offerings for different spirits that reside at the four cardinal directions and the great spirit. The buns were baked by me yesterday and the beans and the meat were started at four o'clock this morning and cooked until you got here. A lot of people are fascinated that Saskatchewan has such a rich, rich history in, in the area. Um, a lot of people don't expect that of Saskatchewan. The Saskatchewan gets played low key on a lot of things, but Saskatchewan's got a lot to offer. We just heard a, a fairly remarkable story about the history of this very spot we're standing on. And it really is so redolent of the Old West, the feel of the Old West. It's just been a wonderful afternoon on the Burgess Ranch. It's, um, you know, you don't have the sound of vehicles driving by. You just, it's so quiet and peaceful and the view is just amazing. You do feel like you're just drifting back to another time. If I can provide something and show off the beauty of Saskatchewan, I think that's, uh, Saskatchewan's got a lot of hidden secrets. And we're one of them. And this was my first visit to Castle Butte, so it was fantastic to climb up and stand on the top and really experience the view, and I think it was stunning. It's amazing just to, you know, stand at the bottom and see how tall it is, and, you know, it's a quarter mile around, and the view from the top was just amazing. Too many people think of Saskatchewan as just flat and featureless, and then you go see a place like Castle Butte, and you go, wow, didn't know this was here. So, yes, uh, it's one of those things you have to see. Authentic. Um, genuine, uh, peaceful, inspiring. Uh, I thought it was fantastic. I couldn't ask for anything else. If you really want to get a real uh, grasp of what this area of Canada is like, take this tour. It really was like being taken into someone's home and backyard and given an inside look into an area which is just rich and inspiring. So, And just like stunningly beautiful. So yeah, I was blown away.